Before the commercial break, I told you that outside of Broadway, Les Mis has played one U.S. city more than any other city in the country. Did you guess what city it is? Yep, you got it. St. Paul, Minnesota has been host to Les Mis six times. My name is Michelle Shaw. I've seen Les Mis six times here and once in London. My name is Kevin Lund, and I am a fifth grade teacher at St. Francis St. James United School, and I have seen Les Mis eight times. I've seen it six times at the Ordway and twice in London. I'm Ann Willie, and I'm an usher at the Ordway, and I have seen Les Mis probably 27 times. The story is incredible, too. I mean, just everything about love and justice and all the selfless characters in the play. It's incredible. There's a lot of um, humor in it. There's a lot of music in it. It's uh, very meaningfully, it may be meaningful, but it isn't a bore. My favorite songs are um, A Little Fall of Rain and On My Own by Eponine. And then I Had a Dream that Pontine sings in the beginning. Don't you fret, Mr. Marius. I don't feel any pain. A little fall of rain can hardly hurt me now. I'm here, that's all I need to know. Of course, Jean Valjean is, uh, is wonderful. I would say my two favorite characters are Eponine and Marius. I'm going opening night. Yes. Oh, yeah. When it opens this week, it'll be number seven, more than any other city in the country. Well, we wondered why that was, so we sent our cameras out to try to find that French spirit here in the Twin Cities. Allons-y. That means let's go. This is Our Lady of Lourdes Catholic Church in downtown Minneapolis. My name is Bill Taft. In 1877, the French Catholics in this area were looking for a location in northeast Minneapolis or southeast Minneapolis for their congregation to meet. They bought the church building, and therefore it's the oldest continuously used church building in the area. 